Um, I learned that uh, we need, or on defensively, we need to talk more and have more help side, like for our team. And uh, we just, I f feel like communication is a big key for our team because, like, we're pretty quick and we we're long, and so I think we just have to communicate and be loud and help each other out. Um, just like by playing like with each other every day, we're starting to get to know like how we play and um, like doing back doors and stuff. Like we just by playing together, like we get to know each other better. I feel like it's gotten a lot better because like s some of the people that are playing now, they didn't play as much, and we just gotta play and then. When you score a couple of baskets, it brings your confidence up, and hearing from your teammates that you've done well, that helps too. I think I just need to get my confidence back from last year. I mean, I started out slow, but after playing a lot as a freshman, I think everybody knows my ability and that I didn't play up to it the last couple, last for the first four games, I guess. So it's kind of take this game. I mean, they weren't a very good team, but I mean, kind of show what we need to work on and that I need to what I need to do every game, and not just a team that is under par. As like Amy said, chemistry, I mean, everybody knows we're all pretty good friends, so I mean, we just have to keep building on that, and when it carries from the locker room to the game, um, you'll be able to tell, and like Amy said, shooting hasn't been going well, but I mean, it's looking up, I mean, you can't really count on making everything you take, but like Amy and Tatum, you always know that they're going to have that three-point shot always there for you, so like, if you get to the lane, you can count on them to make baskets, so. And, like last night, we didn't talk very well, but I mean, when it gets to a bigger game, like, against a team in a conference, we can't not talk. Uh, it'll be five on one rather than five on five, so it makes it a little more difficult for one person to guard the whole team. So we just kind of need to keep moving, keep talking, work on it in practice, and carry it over, not just at practice, and do well in practice, but carry it over to a game as well. Mm, it's a lot different. This year, we're a lot faster, long, can run. Don't have to kind of like wait for everybody to get down or set up a play. We can kind of run and gun rather than just run down the court, wait to set up the play, wait for the bigs to get back with us which this year our bigs, like our posts, Sierra, Allie, and like Rachel and all of them can run with us. So don't have to kind of, as a point guard, dribble it all the way down, dribble it back type of thing. You can get it. They can run with us and kick it ahead to them. My little sister, more like my best friend, not a sister. Uh, little sister, I'm proud that she gets to kind of do what me and my mom are both being, my mom was able to do and now I'm able to do. So, I mean, it'll be a fun thing. Not many people can say they played with their sister in high school and as well as in college. It's kind of a rare occurrence. Like when I see players on other teams in our conference, like, and I hear the same last name, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I never thought me and Haley would be able to do it. I always kind of had in the back of my mind, but never really put any forth any thought. And then when it finally came down to it, like, holy crap, she's a senior and she's about to come here too. It's got, I'm excited. I mean, we're really close at home, so it'll be fun to carry it over. Well, you know, what? one of the beauties of the college game is from year to year, you, you're going to have different players. You know, it's not like you go out and draft new players like the pros or free agents and you know and you have some turnover but th this is what I love about the college game is that from one year to the next it can look so different and I think that's true about our team you know we, as uh, other players were mentioning we lost three really good seniors last year in, in Morgan, Jesse and Kate and, and they did great things had really good college careers now it's to see who's going to step up and take their place who's going to earn the minutes that they had, who's going to make the baskets that they made, who's going to play the defense that they played. And, and so I think that's the exciting part about the early part of this season is seeing who's going to fulfill those roles and, and, and how everyone's going to fit together. And, and it's a work in progress. And, and coaches say that all the time, but I think this year for us, it's, it's more true than ever. Well, I think one of the things is that uh, our assists are up. And, and that may be a little thing as people look at it, but uh, against uh, Fort Hayes last week, we had 22 assists on 27 made baskets. And uh, as a coach, that's something you're very excited about. The next night, we didn't make as many baskets, but we still had 13 assists on 17 made baskets. And why that's a big deal is because that means that your team's sharing the ball. That means you're, you're working the ball around. And there wasn't one game last year that we had 22 assists. That doesn't mean we didn't work the ball around, but it just means I think that's something that this team has shown early on, that something that we can do is we can, whether as the players mentioned, it's their chemistry or their teamwork, they do get along great, but they just have a knack uh, of, of finding each other. And, and if they may not be wide open, they have a knack of finding their teammate that may be a little more open than they are. And that's very encouraging. Our defensive evaluation is that we need to do a better job um, talking and we need to do a better job on the weak side of defense. Um, so when, when the person you're guarding is on the other side of the floor than where the ball's at, we have to make sure that we do a good job of helping our teammates out because, you know, if you watch a lot of NBA basketball and things, it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one situation. There's not a lot of team defense. Well, in the high school and college levels, you really need to have good team defense so that 
if someone someone's going to get beat one on one. It happens all the time. There's going to be breakdowns, whether it's screens or just dribble penetration. You have to have people there to help, and then who's there to help that person that helped the other person out? So it's like a domino effect on defense. And I think we're still we're doing a good job of helping the first person that gets beat, but then we got to go help the person that went to help the person that get beat. If that makes sense. And so uh, it's a work in progress, but I, I like the direction. I thought. Last night uh, against Northland, at the beginning, we didn't do as well, but then as the game went along, we kind of got more comfortable with it and we did a better job with it. So it's something that I'm going to be anxious to see how we progress throughout the season because, you know, this league, so many of our games end up being, you know, one to seven point wins one way or the other, one possession of defense. You can't always count on shooting, as coaches say, but you can count on defense every night. And so that's what we're looking to have that kind of be our basis. Mayville is a, a team that we've played uh, for the last uh, number of years. Uh, Coach Hutter has done a very good job with them. They've had some very successful NAI seasons. Uh, they tend to play a lot of 2-3 zone where they'll scramble and just uh, uh, freelance it a little bit out of their zone. Um, and offensively, they like to shoot the three-point shot. Um, they're, they you know, had graduated some players like we did last year, but uh, they brought in some other players that are also really good three-point shooters. So we know that we, we assume and guests are gonna play a zone from what we've been able to gather on them. You know, it's still a young season where teams haven't played a lot of games yet, but from what we can scout on them, they've played a lot of zone and scrambled zone and, and look to shoot a lot of three-pointers. So our defense has got to extend and not let them be open on the three-point line. And, and then we need to, to run the floor and, and find the openings in the zone.